Good afternoon, everybody. This is the Sheraton Drive Water and Sewer Improvement Project Meeting. Pratima Pujal is your project manager. If uh, you didn't hear us talk about this before, if you have a question, you can go ahead and post it in the chat, and we will take that question after the presentation is over. If you're just a call-in user, we'll take your questions after we answer the chat question. So I'm going to turn this over to Pratima Pujal. Pratima? Thank you, Sally. This is the agenda for today's meeting. I am going to introduce the project team. I'll provide you the project overview, project area. I will discuss some of the frequently asked questions, and then I'll provide you the project timeline. My name is Pratima Kaudial. I'm senior professional engineer with City of Fort Worth Water Department, and I'm the project manager for this project. My phone number is 817-392-6149, and email is pratima.kaudial at phototexas.gov. Leah Brown is Neighborhood Development Co Coordinator from City of Fort Worth Neighborhood Services Department. Her phone number is 817-392-6149. 8638, and email is leah.brown.fortworthtexas.gov. RLG is an engineering design firm for this project, and Brent Lewis is the project manager from RLG. And in this meeting, Leah Brown and Brent are both present. I'm going to provide the project overview. Um, Sheraton Drive is where we are going to extend the water and sewer line. This is in Council District 5, and it will impact customers in the historic Stop 6 and Stop 6 Poly Oversight Area. Some of the landmarks near the project, the first one is the Fort Worth Fire Station Number 3, which is on the west side of the Sheraton Drive. The other one is Boys and Girls Club of Greater Tarrant County, uh, which is on the north side of the fire station. And um, there is the Emmanuel Baptist Church, which is on the east side of the Saraton Drive. There is no water and sewer service on the Saraton Drive right now. Uh, this project uh, will include extension of water and sewer um, lines from uh, Sheraton Drive Ramy Avenue intersection to Sheraton Drive Sunshine Drive intersection. On this project, Fort Worth Water Department is partnering with Fort Worth Neighborhood Services Department on a community development block grant. Addresses 2510, 2512, 2514, 2516, and 2518 on the Sheraton Drive are owned by Fort Worth Housing Finance Corporation and are intended for development of affordable single family houses. Since I mentioned Community Block Grant Fund, I'm going to um, talk a little bit about the fund and also the background of the project. In early 2020, a developer applied for a Community Development Block Grant Fund to install water and sewer lines to connect to lots they owned on the Saratin Drive. Through this request, neighborhood service staff learned that water and sanitary sewer mains did not exist on this block, and as a result, proposed to fund this project with CDBG funds to provide water and sewer services to this block in order to support single-family infill development on Saraton Drive. Infill development is defined as new development on vacant or undevelopment land within an existing community that is enclosed by other types of development. The term urban infill implies that every, every existing land is mostly built out and what is being built is in effect filling in the gaps. The most commonly, um, um, the term most commonly refers to building single family homes in existing neighborhoods. And if you have any questions about community block grant funds, then you can ask that to Leah Brown at the end of this presentation. Again, this is the project area. The black line uh, you can see here is where we are going to extend the water and sewer line. 
The water line will be an eight inch water line, uh, which will connect it to a 16 inch water line, existing water line on Ramy Avenue and Saraton Drive intersection. And uh, it will connect to, an, um, to a six inch water line at the uh, intersection of Sunshine Drive and Saraton Drive intersection. Uh, the sewer line will be also uh, eight inch, which will connect to eight inch sewer line on Ramy Avenue Saraton Drive intersection, and that will connect to 10 in sewer line on Sunshine Drive, um, Saraton Drive intersection. In this project, um, we will be installing water and sewer lines, water and sewer um, caps on the Saraton Drive. After the water and sewer lines and caps are installed, the Saraton Drive will be paved with asphalt and will restore the curb and gutter that will be, uh, be damaged by the construction. Now we are going to discuss some of the frequently asked questions. Um, now the first one is, will there be lane closure during construction? Traffic lanes will be closed on Saraton Drive, Ramy Avenue, and Sunshine Drive during the installation of water and sewer lines. Mostly the lane closure will be on the Saraton Drive, but when they make sewer and water connection at the Saraton Drive um, um, and Ramy Avenue intersection and Sunshine Drive and Ramy Avenue intersection, the, the, those will be uh, closed as well. Um, however, the um, traffic control safe signs will be posted to alert the motorist. Does this project include sidewalks? Sidewalks are not part of this project. Now I'm going to provide you the general timeline this pro for this project. Uh, this project is in, um, this is a design public meeting. The next steps will be advertised in this project for bids for construction. After we receive the bids, um, now we'll open the bids and the city council will approve uh, to award the bid to a contractor. Once the bid is awarded to a contractor, a pre-construction meeting will be held with the contractor and city inspector. And once the pre-construction meeting is held, we come back to the community and have another WebEx meeting like this to update who are impacted by this project. Um, right now, we are um, estimating the construction would start early, um, as early as the spring of 2022. If you are interested to find more information and updates about this project, um, then, then you can go to the link provided over here. You can also go to the website www.phototexas.gov and enter 103.124 in the search bar. Um, the link to this meeting video, project maps, and the project summary frequently asked questions will also be linked to this project page. If you are having water and um, sewer related issues, um, then you can call the number 817-392-4477. There is a, um, um, uh, and a select option one for the emergency issues, uh, which will be open 24 hours a day. Um, you can call the same number for non-emergency issues as well. Um, and they are open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Now you can download the app, My Photos app, from the App Store or Google Play as well. You can report sewer overflows, leaks, and water main breaks, missing or broken meter leads, water theft, water violations, no water service, water pressure issues, and all other water sewer related concerns through the app as well. Again, my name is Pratima Baudel, and I'm the project manager for this project. My number is 817-392-6149. Email is pratima.podal at phototexas.gov. Leah Brown is the Neighborhood Development Coordinator. Um, her number is 817-392-8638. And email is leah.brown at phototexas.gov. And RLG is the engineering design firm who is designing this project. And Brent Lewis is the project manager. With that, this presentation is complete. If you have any questions, please put that in the chat box and we'll answer them. Pratima, we don't currently have any questions in the chat. Are there any call-in users who have questions?
Bertha, do you have a question? Okay. Bertha, no questions? Yes, I was talking. I had not muted myself. Did you hear me now? <laughs> I can I'm, hear you now. I'm I'm sorry. I said my, my, my question was concerning um homeowners or property owners there in the um Amanda on the Amanda and uh, near Callahan uh street are those water services are real, real bad water and sewage services. So I didn't know if they need need to, need to uh, contact neighborhood services or I just read this thing that you you guys are dealing with Sheraton and um, Sunshine Drive and back over there. But uh, that that was my question. Will will there be any future references to that neighborhood there in Stop Seats? Um, Bertha, can you repeat what Chris, uh, you were talking about having um, bad services? Yes, the water services, the, the, the sewage services is all, I'd say, stopped up. It's not good sewer services there in that area. And I was wanting to know what did uh, um, property owners need to do in order to get um, neighborhood services or whoever, the city of Fort Worth, to address that problem. Um, on this project, we are only uh, extending water and sewer line on the Saratin Drive, but we are going to look into the, your area uh, and see if there are history of um, breakages and uh, issues. Uh, then, uh, then uh, we'll uh, we'll create a project and then uh, we'll fix that. Okay. Okay. I appreciate that. Now, now who's talking right now? Who, who was I speaking to? Uh, this is Pratima Podial, and I'm the project manager for this project. Pratima, Pratima. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Pratima. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, 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 do I need to contact you for further information about maybe um, a project? that area uh, if you have any specific issues then yes uh, you can contact me but if you are talking about the general area then we are looking into it and then uh, we'll get back and co come back to the community later okay all right thank you this is leah brown um, okay does anyone else have a question about sheraton drive hi can you hear me this is leah yes um, Ms. Barnes, did you did you say originally that you were concerned about Amanda and Callahan? Yes, yes, I did. I'm going to make sure that we have that down correctly. Thank you. You hear me? Are you hearing me? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Go ahead, Bertha. Amen. Okay, I, I, I lost you. I, I had a call coming in and I tried to mute it, but I lost you. We can hear you if you wanted to ask another question. Arthur, you're muted. I 
have I lost? Have I lost contact with the meeting? Go ahead, Bertha. We can hear you. Do you have a question? Okay, I have Bertha's contact information, so I'll forward I that lost to you. With the meeting. We can hear you, Bertha. Bertha, if you can hear us, I have your contact information and I will forward that to uh, Leah Brown for you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and close this evening, um, this meeting, I'm sorry, and Bertha will contact you through your email address and Pratima, you think we'll come back in the spring of 2022 for a construction meeting? Yes, that's the prediction for now. Okay. I'm sorry, wait a minute. I think we have someone in chat. Just trying to catch. I'm seeing Sally, but I'm not hearing anything. Okay, we can hear you. Let me see if she I can answer. I've lost contact. I think I've been disconnected. Okay, she can't hear us, so we will. Uh, I will send her an email as soon as I close this meeting, and I will forward that to Leah and Pratima. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.